medical stem cells. They're considered to be a blank slate for medical professionals. They're used to treat cancers, uh, spinal cord injuries, and now they're giving new hope to parents with children with autism. So much so that one Toronto family is moving mountains to make sure that their son can participate in a potentially groundbreaking American study. Noah, hello, Noah, what is it? What? Noah is extraordinary. Noah's four. He was diagnosed at two for, with autism. Happy birthday to you. Noah, look. Noah's um, has been mostly in his own world. He likes to play around the kids opposed to interact with them. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. That was Noah Barcelo seven months ago. This is Noah today. Bright eyed, emotive, interactive. His family says all that came after one experimental stem cell infusion. He gets upset that uh, we got more eye contact, we interaction, um, facial expressions. Now he makes the expressions um, at the right moments, and he's also calling me mommy. And he's that's never a big done that, one. and that was an upsetting part for her. Little Noah is one of 180 children taking part in phase two of a study at Duke University in Durham, North Carolina. The goal, to see whether a transfusion of umbilical cord blood packed with stem cells could help treat autism. Generally, we saw um, behaviors improve in the children at six months compared to their baseline studies. Dr. Joanne Kurtzberg is one of the lead researchers in the study. Phase one saw more than two-thirds of children show behavioral and speech improvements. Her early hypothesis is this. Certain immune cells within the cord blood are crossing the blood barrier and altering brain connectivity. However, two autism specialists out of Toronto today are cautioning parents that the trial is premature. One even calling it a shot in the dark. We don't know if this therapy will be curative for autism, but I am hopeful that it could be curative in the long run. This is the second month. He's a little chatterbox. <laughs> Acknowledgement of it being an event. For Noah's parents, however, even the tiniest changes are hope. Hope the treatment is working and hope for a bright future for their son. Everyone wants the same thing, an equal chance for their child, an equal, you know, to have an equal chance at life. Now Noah was accepted into that trial after an incredible amount of work and pushing by his parents and phase two is currently underway, although it is unknown when those results will be released publicly. Now this story came to us from that adorable family you saw there uh, asking us to tell Noah's story. If you've got a story idea, here's how you can get in touch with us.